Dr. McKenzie? Yes, sir. How you doing? Oh, we've gotten into the graft now. We have a calcific origin of the uh, left renal, so we've gotten into it. We just aren't being able to track. We changed our sheaths out, so we now have a little bit uh, more substantial sheath to get in there, and we're just working on the left. Uh, it keeps teasing us, but we are just working away here, trying to get close. So you can see we've got uh, the uh, seven French sheath going into the graft. We're working right at the uh, area of the fenestration. It's right up against the wall, but we have shown that we do have good flow into the renal once we kind of get this thing uh, in that area. We just have to get through that calcific uh, plaque. Bring this down a little bit more. What, what trick got you into the bottom of the graft? I saw you had some trouble with that at the, at the Yeah, end of the we actually came in and uh, we used one of the malleable, or mo uh, you know, the uh, like a morph, but it's the Medtronic version uh, that we're able to kind of take one area of play out. Uh, then we were able to get that in and then be able to kind of catheterize it from there. That, that Medtronic version you're talking about, is that the Aptus stapling uh, yeah. catheter? Yeah. I've noticed that has a lot more rigidity uh, and a lot more maneuverability than, than some of the other uh, uh, catheters. Yeah, I, I agree. It certainly let us get into the, the area and kind of kept its shape, so that was a help there. I mean, I don't use it routine. I use the morph probably a lot more frequently, um, but, you know, we didn't have a morph here, and this one worked very nicely for us. And then what's your, what's your go-to strategy for cannulating these fenestrations? What, what catheters and wires do you typically well, use? Well, it depends on the angle here. Right now, what I'm trying to do is just get something out in there. Uh, I just got this out, and I'm going to actually probably go to like a saucer VS2 to try and use that to shape to get in. I'll form it and then pull it down um, just because this is not really kind of going in with what I've got right now. So uh, go ahead and give me a sauce. We'll take this one out, please. So at least you look like you're through the fenestration here. Oh yeah, we're through the we're outside the graft now. We know uh, we just we can play our last run back. Sean, can you play the last run back? So you can see that we're you know it's a tease. We're dancing right at the door. So, but there is a, a I think we had two shelves. We had one shelf right there at the Reynolds. We have it one right below that wire, and then we had a shelf right at the bottom of the graft too because we had to kind of flip over and then flip back into that. So now we're going to come in with a sauce. Did you have much trouble getting through the fenestration, or is it just the It's right up against the wall. So, yeah, we could get there, and uh, originally we had a, a, a Terumo sheath in there. It was just a little too soft, and I couldn't really get that much pushability to kind of give me support. So I couldn't, with that calcific origin, I couldn't get a catheter to track over the wire. I was able to get a wire out into it, but just wasn't tracking. Uh, so now we're going to try a different, different way. I've got a little bit more uh, with the Ansel sheath there to get a little bit more support. And now let's see if we can't get this to form. It's against the wall. It may not work, but sometimes I can just pull it down and get it to engage. One of the, as you're working there, I so say one of the techniques that I found helpful, if I've had trouble getting through a fenestration, I'll bring that, my sheath up to the fenestration once I'm through, perhaps put, it, put a buddy wire of an 018 wire, like a steel core through there, uh -huh. just to hold the sheath up to the fenestration, so that as I'm working with my, with my primary catheter and wire, if I pop out, it's not a big deal getting back through that fenestration. Yeah, yeah I guess that's a good idea, depending on how much room you have to work and everything else. Right now, like I say, it looks like we're back out in the renal. I just have to get this sheath to catheter seat down in there now and it's just a, it's a little bit of a twist on it trying to untwist and it will untwist or it will just flip right up and you'll watch the wire pop right out so we have one of two options really with this I'm going to bring the sheath up a little bit more Try and get it close to help give me a little bit more support. Yeah, having that sheet there sheet. sometimes can help you take that yeah. extra redundancy out, it looks like. Now, see, I see it's we're flipping all, up. We're holding our breath here. Ah, I cheated. <laughs> sometimes it's the quick pull that kind of gets you there, too. 
All right, hold sheath. Yeah, now we've got to rotate the sheath back. What, uh, what wire are you working with? This is just a, a floppy glide wire. Okay, so now we're going to come back, and there we go. And I'm going to try and come in with a uh, trailblazer. We have to be careful as we bring this out, Sean, as it comes out, make sure it doesn't pull the wire back. So I think this is kind of building support as you go. I did leave my amplats wire. Got wire? You got wire? I did leave my amplats wire in, and I've stuck the sheath of the 20 French um, sheath uh, just because it wasn't, I couldn't quite get the uh, 25 centimeter sheath to get into the uh, uh, graft itself. So I'm using this kind of the, the amplat to kind of hold my position. I got one sheath in. Once I get the second sheath in, then I'm going to be a little bit more. Uh, comfortable that I've got a good p foothold in this thing. So now so you're bringing up your trailblazer to switch out to a more supportive wire? Right, right. We're going to come in. This should uh, give us a nice uh, lubricious catheter to go through that area. I've got it supported with a sheath behind it. Everything's straight. Don't let it bow. Sean, keep a zero right there for me. And this is where it comes in. People forget that the as you're advancing a catheter, if it forms a loop or a bow outside the body, it pulls your wire back. So that's the place that's been giving us fits right there. Advance wire a little bit, please. A lot of groans in the audience because it seems like we've all been there where your uh, oh, yeah. wire starts backing out on you. Are you able to push your sheath up anymore to engage that's what I'm that? Ex exactly, Brian. Ah, oh. but that's... What can happen? So you should know better than to listen to me. <laughs> I learned a lot from you as a fellow. I'm going to try and actually bounce off the top here. We had a suggestion, I think, from Neil to twist the, twist the graft a little. Oh. Uh, we've, we've done, we've, I've twisted it once already. Um, pushing up is a suggestion we just had here. I'm not as anxious to do that just because it looks like we're right in the center of the fenestration. And if I looked at the right, it's high already. So. Um, let's try a little bit more. Again, I'm twisting both the sheath and the dilator, or the delivery system here. Okay. Yeah, see, it's not... Uh, it's right there at that origin. I wonder if shooting. Right, let's go ahead and angle glide catheter back. What, Brian? Uh, I was going to say, I wonder if shooting another picture of high mag uh, to make sure you're in the right uh, uh, contrast. Sort of make sure that renal hasn't moved relative to the graft. Yeah. Breath hold. Yep, there it is. Breathe. Like it's in pretty good position. Yep. All right. So let's go ahead and walk this trailblazer out and come back with it. Do we ever find that angle trailblazer? Yes. Quick cross. Okay. We got it over on the west side. Jim, we have one more talk to go. I, okay. I wonder if maybe uh, we'll do the next talk and we'll yep. still have about a minute and a half, two minutes to see your completion. And, and if not, I'll bring you films tomorrow. I have wire. Right. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Thanks, Brian. So the, the next talk is...